the Federation of Women Lawyers has accused President Yuru Kenyatta of treating women as second-class citizens after he failed to name any of them in his first batch of nine members of the cabinet. FIDA said that in retaining only six men in his cabinet, and naming three more as new entrants, he had failed to acknowledge the contribution women had made to the nation in the cabinet. We are really upset, Josephine Monger of FIDA Kenya told the nation on Sunday. The president is treating women of Kenya as if they are second-class citizens. Even if they will be in another list, it is the second list. Women who were in President Kenyatta's cabinet were Amina Mohamed, Foreign Affairs and Trade, Rachel Amamo, Defense, Phyllis Condi, East African Community, Labor and Social Protection, Cicely Kariuki, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, and Judy Wakungu, Environment. Naming Cabinet In naming his cabinet on Friday, President Kenyatta only retained Dr. Fred Mashangai, Interior, Charles Skeeter, Energy, James McCurea, Transport, Joe Muchiru, Information, Communication and Technology, Henry Rodish, National Treasury, and Najib Balila, Tourism. Those President Kenyatta added to his list are former Director of Public Prosecutions Gary Tobiko former Marsabit Governor Yukur Yatani, and former Turkana Senator John Muniz to complete the first batch of nine CSs, all men. Like the eight men who are said not to have been expressly retained, the five women have been put in abeyance, unsure of their fate. Affirmative Action Appointments should comply with the not more than two-thirds gender principle at all levels. Affirmative action should be used where fair competition and merit fails to bring this desired result, Dr. Florence Wachira, the National Gender Equality Commission member, said in an advisory opinion. Ms. Monger said that while they could not question the move by President Kenyatta not to have any woman in the list of six ministers he retained, he should have named some in the list of new entrants. As he appointed Tobiko, Yatani, and Muniz. He should have named at least a woman too, she said. But he has 22 slots to fill, with 9 already filled. We hope he gives the 13 remaining to women.